Welcome back YouTube, we have Ahmed again from In-Depth Tech Reviews and here's my second video about the first beta for Android 11 and I'm really excited about this video because I spotted even more changes that no one else ever mentioned before. Those changes I only spotted on my Pixel 3 XL. I do have Android 11 beta 1 on my Pixel 4 XL but I don't have those changes so it seems like Google is pushing some updates or stuff on the server side that is not yet available for everyone so that's why i'm excited to share them with you to set your expectations about the new changes that will come next i'm gonna also share with you some other changes that i missed in my previous video so now let's check what are those new changes but before getting started let's make sure to subscribe hit the bell icon to get notified every time i post a new video so let's jump in The first change I'm going to show you here is the ability to copy and paste photos using your Gboard. So let me show you how. Here I have the Photos app open and I want to copy this image and I want to paste it in my WhatsApp conversation. Look what's going to happen here. When I get my keyboard, you will see here at the top the option to paste and a very small thumbnail of my image. So let me zoom in a little bit. So you see here the word paste and when I tap on it, it will simply paste the image in my conversation. All right. Not only this, but when you tap on more, you will be able to see the image here as well in the clipboard. All right. So you can tap and hold on it. You can either paste it, pin it or delete it from your clipboard. And if you tap on pin, this image will remain here all the time. All right. Or you can simply tap on the base paste button and you can send it and here you go. You have the image now and I send it to myself on the other phone and I received it successfully. But there is only one thing you need to keep in mind here. When you copy and paste the images using this way, uh, the image does not look perfect as you would expect. First of all, you have this white line at the top and the left sides. It seems like the image is cropped and not cropped perfectly. Also, the image looks very pixelated, as you see here. So it's not the same quality you get when you share the image the normal way. So yes, it doesn't work perfectly now. However, I'm looking forward to see the final version of this feature because it's really handy. You may be wondering, does it work when you reply back to a message from a notification? But the answer is no. When you hit reply here, and I still have the image copied to my clipboard and tap and hold, trying to paste, nothing happens and when i go to the clipboard and then try to paste it i get this notification so let me zoom in it says here system ui doesn't support image pasting here so simply it doesn't work from the notifications shade it only works when you have your application open but this is not the only change when it comes to copy paste now i'm gonna copy text and instead of copying an image and I want to paste it here in my WhatsApp conversation. And as you see, I also get a suggestion here to paste straight away. And instead of tapping and holding first and then paste, I can simply tap this bubble and I can send my message, which is a lot easier for you to copy and paste stuff. Next, I'm going to show you some changes related to the notifications and bubbles. The first change I'm going to show you here is a small counter that you get when you receive messages. So for example, if I'm going to send myself more than one message, as you see here, there is a small green counter saying to me how many messages I have from this conversation. But this counter disappears once you expand your notifications shade. As you see here, I can see the messages, but I don't see the counter anymore. Even when I collapse that notification, still there is no counter here to tell me how many messages. It only show up on that pop-up notification you get for a few seconds. Now I'm going to show you some details related to the suggested apps on your home screen. As you see here, all the apps on my home screen are suggested apps. But what if I want to move this application from this spot to the next one? Once you move the application, it will be automatically pinned to your hot seat. You can also create folders from the suggested apps by moving it on top of the other app like this one and it will automatically create a folder for you but you cannot create a folder from two suggested apps like this so you cannot let's say have two suggested apps and put them on top of each other you can only do this if you have one 
pinned the application and the other one is suggested you can simply move it drag it and drop it on the pinned application and the folder will be created also when you try to organize your home screen like this and drag your icons around as you see the two suggested apps I have on my hot seat are not showing anymore which means the launcher is considering those two spots as empty spots all right so you can put whatever icon you want on them however I thought at the beginning that I can create a folder by doing this behavior for example I can move this icon put it on top of the other and create a folder but this is not the behavior when you put an icon here it will replace your suggested apps and when you take it off your suggested app will show up again however it works the other way around so if you dragged a suggested apps and put it on top of the other you can create a folder or you can simply put it on your home screen next the automatic folder name suggestion we already have this feature in android 10 but i noticed a new behavior with the first beta of android 11. in android 10 when you create a folder the phone will automatically suggest a folder name and then it will bring up the keyboard in case if you want to modify this name but here the behavior is different as you see here i created a folder but the keyboard didn't show up and the folder name is google because i have here the play store and google chrome in the same folder and if you want to modify the name you have to do that in a separate step now i'm going to switch to my pixel 4xl to show you the rest of the changes because there is no difference between the two in these areas and the first thing i'm going to show you here if you have the media resumption option turned on and you are playing something from your google chrome or you are casting any media to your chromecast you will get as expected the media controls in your quick settings uh, however you will get this small x right here that we are all famili familiar with if you are casting media and you want to stop casting you tap on this x however if you tapped on it and uh, go away from your notification shade and then come back to it it will stick here it doesn't go away however if you want to take it off you can tap and hold and you will get this text let me zoom in it says here close this media session all right and when you tap on the x it will go away however this behavior doesn't happen with the uh, media players like for example youtube music and when i tap and hold i cannot do this and also i don't have the small x as the other one uh, however uh, to close or to get rid of this uh, media controls you have to force quit the app so i'm gonna force quit youtube music and as you see here it's gone now let's talk about the bubbles and how it works in details as you may know the only third-party app that supports android 11 bubbles feature is the facebook messenger and in my last video i couldn't show you how it works into detail because uh, every time i tap on the bubble the whole ui crashes and the bubble disappears but now i managed to get it working so let me show you how to do that yourself to make the bubbles feature work properly with your facebook messenger you need to open the app tap on your profile picture and then scroll down and you will see here an option called bubbles once you turn that on the feature will work as expected and as you see here i already have one active conversation and when i tap on the bubble i can see the conversation as expected similar to uh, the facebook messenger chat heads but it has been replaced with the bubbles feature of android 11. you also get this plus sign right here and when you tap on the plus sign you will get also the previously dismissed bubbles uh, that you can re re retrieve back if you want so for example if i'm gonna tap on this one i can get this bubble back again and when i go away now i have two bubbles available for me all right and if i dismissed it again it will reappear in the plus sign not only this but when you expand your bubble as you see here there is a button here called manage and when you tap on manage you will get three choices here the first option here is called dismiss which is similar to dragging your bubble towards the x at the bottom of the screen as you see here so you can tap on dismiss instead or you can tap on don't bubble this conversation and the next time you get a message from this conversation it will be a normal message without any bubbles and when you tap on messenger settings it will take you to the bubbles settings for the messenger app where you can choose all conversations selected conversations or nothing can bubble i also found a weird behavior if you didn't check your notification and you dismissed all your bubbles 
uh, and then tap and hold on your application to get the quick actions menu and you still have a notification here when you tap on it it will open the normal chat heads of uh, the messenger app not the one that comes with android 11 so as you see here i have the messenger app logo my conversation and i also have the stories which is the same one that comes from the Facebook Messenger itself, not the one that comes with Android 11. Now I'm gonna show you a new animation that I spotted in Developer Preview 4, and until now, I didn't see anyone talking about it. And this animation only happens when you quit an app using the back gesture instead of the home gesture. For example, when you open Facebook and quit the app using the back gesture, you will see this little nice animation here. Let me show this again. All right, but when you quit the app using the home gesture, nothing different. But when you quit it using the back gesture, that's when you get this nice animation. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are the extra changes I managed to get my hands on on my Pixel 3 XL and the Pixel 4 XL. And I hope this video will add more knowledge to you about the uh, first bit of Android 11. And please let me know in the comments what do you think about those changes and in case if you got them or not. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you like my video and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos.